everyone, this is absolutely amazing video pattern for everyone who would like to make this cute, soft and cozy blanket. If you are not too handy in handmade things, don't worry, I will show you how to do that step by step. You'll need just your fingers and this amazing yarn, it's a loop yarn and it's called Puffy from Elizabeth and if you are going to make exactly the same size of blanket as me, you'll need four balls of this yarn. My baby blanket is for baby, it's great size for pram and the length uh, is uh, 75 centimeters and the width of blanket is 65 centimeters. And I'm going to use this great color of yarn and it's up to you what color you'll pick. Okay, now you need to count 39 stitches, 39 uh, loops. And the first three or four loops you should cut in the middle of the loop because the tail you will need for sewing. So do it exactly the same as me. Cut it carefully. In the middle of the loop like this. And now count 39 loops. In a whole pattern we will just cross two loops over like this. So it's gonna be easy. Okay, get the tail on the left side and count 39 loops. If you want to have exactly the same size of blanket as me. And maybe you are going to make scarf or something else. So always you need to count odd number of loops. Okay, cross first loop over the second loop like this and pull the first following loop on a working tail through the first crossed loop and then pull next following loop on the working tail through uh, the second crossed loop and repeat this again and repeat this again and again and again across. In this pattern, in this technique uh, of knitting, uh, you should uh, be careful because you shouldn't miss any loop of your working tail. So work carefully and maybe I'm going to show you uh, how to do that on the table. So, cross the first, loop over the second and now pull the loop through Take following loop on working tail and pull it through. Okay, always at the end of each row, you must have uh, one, one loop left. Now I have three loops left, so I'm going to make last, last uh, cross. <laughs> 
and then this last loop just knit normally so take a following loop uh, on working tail and pull it through like this and this is how the first row looks like and you can see our stitches go to the left now we are going to work uh, to the right so take the working tail put it above this way okay uh, in next row you will do the same as before just cross the second loop over the first loop and we have copy direction of the loop uh, from previous row so cross the second loop over the first loop and pull two following loops through the cross I say the cross I mean <laughs> these two crossed loops and repeat it again and continue working like this um, all the way across okay you can see our stitches go uh, to the left and you should have one loop left so pull the loop through this last loop and we have joined the second row in next row you will continue working exactly the same like in the first row so you will take the first uh, loop and cross the loop over the second loop and pull loops through and continue working like this across and this pattern is very important to copy direction of stitches so in this third row uh, we are working to the left so we have third row of direction to the left okay i am at the end of the third row you have one loop left so pull the following loop through and this is how it looks like now it's up to you if you will continue working um, in the same direction in the next row or ne next two rows or if you are going to follow me because i'm going to change the direction of stitches so you have to cross um, loops on the other side oh i mean you will work um, still the same just stitches uh, will change direction so if you want to have exactly the same blanket and exactly the same pattern as me follow me and these written instructions i hope it's gonna be enough understandable for you if it's not write me here below the video and i will help you with pleasure okay so this is my blanket and i'm going to show you how to join another ball of yarn uh, it's really easy to do and i just want to show you because maybe someone someone doesn't know how to do it so i'm going to finish the the previous ball of yarn and i have one video of baby blanket with this technique if you want you can click uh, the information card above and there will be the link for uh, the video or in description of this video you can find the link for 
another blanket with this technique. Now just take new end of the yarn and just continue working in the same pattern as before. So it's very easy to join new end of yarn. And don't worry, it's okay like this. If you like this video, if you like my blanket, uh, I will be very happy for thumb up. So if you like it, put the thumb up and I will be happy for it. Okay, uh, now I want to show you just uh, how to continue. Uh, it's the same like before, just you can you can be a little confused uh, with these joint uh, ends but it's the same it's the same like before continue working like this and i will show you what next so you can pause the video finish the basic part of blanket and then i will show you uh, what next if you will want to make border of blanket I will show you after so you can pause the video and then meet me back again and this is how it looks like and now we have to finish the last row so I'm on the wrong side so we are going to uh, finish the last row from the left side to the right side and you have to pull the second loop through the first loop take following loop and pull it through the previous loop so like this you have to finish the last row so continue working like this across Okay, and this is very, very last loop of the pattern. And then just cut few loops uh, in the middle again, uh, do it exactly the same as on the beginning of this um, pattern. And if you don't want to make a border, it's last step for you, you will just sew the tail inside a blanket. But I'm going to cut all these loops and I will crochet, I will make a border of baby blanket. So I'm going to use 10 millimeters crochet hook, you can use small one, uh, 9 millimeters crochet hook or 9.5 millimeters crochet hook. Or you can leave the blanket like this, you can see it's okay, mm -hmm. it's fine, it's nice, uh, like this as well. But I'm going to crochet the border. So insert your hook into the loop and then insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull it through and make one single crochet. So we have loop and one single crochet in the corner. Then make one single crochet in next stitch and we will make one single crochet in each stitch. And in each corner you have to make three single crochets. So I'm going to show you again where you should exactly insert your hooks. This is stitch where you have to make single crochet. Then in this gap and then again in this stitch. So make one single crochet in each stitch across. And in each corner don't forget to make three single crochets in the same space. Don't tighten at all. And that's all. So continue working and don't forget make three single crochets in each corner. 
okay and this is how it looks like this is my blanket i like it it's cozy it's soft and nice so i hope you like it too have a great day and see you soon